I said at the introduction that it pays to seek God. We don't waste our lives. We don't waste our time. We are not wasting our destinies seeking God. This year, hold God tight and do it well. Tight. The instructions, the teachings, and the things you are hearing regarding the subject of faith now. Walk it. I came across a news, I think about maybe four or so weeks ago, there about. It said it pays, I think this was on Yahoo News, it pays to serve God and stand for God no matter what. A woman was a dishwasher, plate washer, in a Miami hotel. Some of you must have come across that story. Marriage and pair. 60 years old was sacked for missing work on Sunday. And what happened was that they kept on putting her to work on Sunday. And she said, no, give me another duty schedule. I have to go to church on Sunday morning. Now if it is something that happened once in a while, maybe it could, be, could have been excused excusable but they kept and she said no I'm going to go to church on Sunday morning and they sacked her she is a devoted Christian at Bethel Bible Baptist Church in Miami Florida they took the matter to court years after the court awarded her dishwasher in the hotel 21 million dollars in damages The hotel is to pay her 21 million dollars in damages plus the five thousand dollars arrears of back wages another five hundred thousand dollars for emotional pain understand what we are talking about one million dollars is 365 million naira multiply that by 10 that's 3.65 billion multiply it again by two that is seven point something billion in naira plus 365 million it pays don't compromise your service to God. Listen to me. That is why I tell people of all the times to travel, it's not Sunday morning. Travel another time. God is watching and seeing these things. That is why I have never been able to understand while some are going to church and some decided that their business is to sell to those going to church and not go to church. It's an, abnorm an, abnorm an anomaly. Am I, here? Am I speaking to somebody here? Of all the days to sell, it is Sunday. I'm not talking of those of the other religion, even those of the other religion. Maybe that was why Jesus carried whip at one time and whipped those buying and selling around the temple or in the temple. If you are coming to church, come to church. If you are going to the market, go to the market. Let it not be a mixture. Am I communicating? And don't encourage anybody to go to hell by patronizing those who should be going to church who decided that selling is superior to God, you are assisting them to go to hell fast. I've never talked like this before. Don't, don't encourage anybody who doesn't value God. Don't value God for no reason. Including those who sell at King's Banquet or any of these places here. 
when it is service time you are not permitted to be on any assignment selling nothing you need a bottle of oil you need communion whatever get it before you come to church or get it after church so that we don't keep anybody outside of the presence of God when service is made don't don't be around the church and die and go to hell don't be a symbol even those who clean in the toilets speakers must be fixed at those toilets so that while they are on that duty their ears can be open to hear what is being preached traffic control officer will take turns on duty those who control the traffic today will be in church next week so that another set can hear they can just be hearing the, the, the things in turn am i coming see because for donkey he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them it is not being around church that changes your life it is the word that enters your spirit the climate of the sort that changes your life so you are not just there being busy like is it matter careful about many things please I want us hold to God fast and let us take God seriously.